G'day everyone, Daniel Legrady here and uh, I want to show you a car that I have no clue about. I'm not even a fan of the base car. Well, I have no, <laughs> no hate for the car, but I just have no sort of clue or interest about them. No, no, no criticism guys, but uh, what is it? So I'm thinking it's like a 911, right? Now I just want to make it clear, I'm a massive noob, as if it wasn't clear enough already, about this car. But uh, let's have a look at it. It says Gembala, is that how you pronounce it? I don't even know. But there's a hell of a body kit on it. It's of course got the flat nose, oh sorry, the, uh, what do you call that? The pop-up lights. And uh, this logo, this G, this Gemba, it's branded up the Guna. It is branded like I've never seen before. Stickers all over it. Um, and uh, here as well. And in the interior. Now, yeah, it's really, really quite the car. Yes, quite the car indeed. Now, I did some research. Turns out the car is a Gembala Avalanche. They made just 13 of these over an eight year period. It's one of just two Gembalas in Japan. And there's a little flap between the headlights which pops up at about 120 k's an hour, which adds a great deal of downforce to the car. This caught my eye, of course cameras instead of uh, side mirrors and I'm guessing that little panel above the center uh, the uh, steering column is where that must show has to be right yeah look at that unbelievable I really have no clue what engine is going on under here looks to be some serious hardware from what I can see and uh, <laughs> hell of a wing unbelievable check out the uh, the exhaust tips what is it? Cast? Bloody hell, quite a setup. Now what's the deal with that? Is that some sort of is there some benefit? Oh. Sorry, just uh, interrupted there. Um, the guy who's running the event, he's uh, yeah, just we just had a chat. So um, yeah guys, check it out, that logo again. Really interesting car. No clue. So there you go guys, uh, my first time to see it, um, I'm just sharing with you the, the thing, <laughs> sharing with you this momentous occasion. Now question of the day is what DVD did you see most recently? Just let me know in the comments below, take it easy everyone, goodbye! With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on wasabi cows and a neighborhood wasabi